guys! So I know it's been a long time since I filmed anything, but I kind of thought of something. I've been really into a few drugstore products. So I thought I'd do kind of a nice summery look using only drugstore products. So I've already washed my face, put on regular lotion, stuff like that. But I'm actually going to start with the eyes just because I'm going to need to put multiple coats of mascara on. And I kind of let them set in between. So to start off with, I'm going to prime my eyes. And I'm using Maybelline's Color Tattoo in Barely Beige. So that's just this one. Barely Branded also is pretty much the same shade. I have them both and they're like identical. So I'm just going to put that all over my lid, up in the crease, and on my brow bone. Not so much on the inside because I'm going to use something else, but it doesn't really matter if it ends up more inside too. So the eye is going to be very neutral, but it's going to be a very defined neutral eye um, with different effects in a way. Um, then I'm taking NYX Jumbo Pencil in Milk. So, it's a flat white. We recently got Ulta in the mall a town over from me. So, it's only 30 minutes now for me to go to Ulta. And that is wonderfully bad news, in a way. Because I love Ulta, and I love... Um, I ended up picking up more NYX products. I already have one of these. I just picked up another one. And then um, I tried their Glam Gloss and their Butter Gloss because they had buy one, get one half off or free. Something like that. So it was pretty nice. Um, now I'm going to take NYX The Color Shadow Palette in Caviar and Bubbles. So it looks like that. And it's number three, Caviar and Bubbles. But it comes with a big mirror, and then it's got these very neutral shades. So I'm actually going to use, let me see if I can, I'm going to use the blank white on my inner corner. Then I'm going to mix these two for my highlight. Then, let's see, this one next to the very dark one is going to be my base eyeshadow. And then I'm going to use this one here in my crease to define it. Define it. I'm still going to use my MAC brushes. Um, it really doesn't matter what brushes you use, but these are the only brushes I have. And they're the ones in the little that came in the sets anyways. Oh no, I'm like out of water in my spray bottle. Oop. And then I just poured a ton. Okay, so to start off with, I'm going to take that peachy pink color. That's the one that's going all over my sh lid. I'm going to just pop that on top. I'm doing a really neutral eye, but I'm going to add a pop of color to my liner. I do like kind of matching colors to my outfits in subtle ways. My pants have pink and pink roses and green flowers on like a charcoal base of pants <laughs> and um, I really like it and I'm thinking I'm going to um, put a green and then a slightly pink on my lips so um, let me see. now I'm taking that white one it's just gonna go right in my inner corner to help define and lighten the area which makes you look more awake of course now I can take um, that medium brown that's what's going in my crease um, usually I use a more flat tone this one's got a little bit of a sheen to it so I'd say it's like a satiny type finish but it's not too much. It's not shimmer shimmer. Sometimes it's fun to play with shimmer even in your crease. But on a neutral eye, I usually go for like a matte. Something like cork from MAC or something of that sorts. 
but this one's just perfect and I can use one palette which is great and this is inexpensive I think I can't even quite remember if it was six bucks or if it was on sale for six bucks or if it was originally six bucks and I got it on sale it's been a little bit since I had this palette now I'm mixing that highlight and the white as like an extra light high highlight and that's going on my brow bone bring in the shimmer all right and I'm gonna use liquid liner and gel liner after my mascara is all done um I think I'm actually gonna take this a mixture of these two the dark 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 espresso color and then this kind of chocolate brown sort of mix them together and do a liner on just under my bottom lash line because I'll use the green liner on my waterline and I'm just defining where my lashes will be I've been ultra busy lately with um, school I mean it's getting close to finals time of course and it's not the finals that seem to be the worst it's usually around this time I have all my projects so I have like three projects I work on simultaneously at one time for about a month straight and it gets to be really frustrating so that's done with eyes I'm gonna use this to highlight the rest of my face when it's all done too so I'm gonna take and er, that's all for eyeshadow I should have said so I'm gonna curl my lashes this is just a drugstore lash curler too I'm not sure what it is I think baby Revlon it says right on it I'd love to try the Elamaskas, um lash curler since I've heard so much about it but I just haven't yet <laughs> now I'm taking L'Oreal telescopic shocking extensions mascara so it looks like that it's so hard to get my laptop to cooperate when I film I gotta leave in six minutes. Just gotta make sure I get done in that time. I plan tonight when I go out to put false lashes on, but because, um, actually it's mostly because I forgot to bring my glue in here. My lashes are in here. My glue is in my purse, so I like to take it with me, so... Um, so that's the eyeshadow done. You can kind of see it's very natural. And one coat of mascara. I tend to put on like two or three. I'll probably put on three, especially that I won't be wearing my lashes yet. And now I can go to um, skin. So, oop, just gonna get out my things. They're a little buried. There we go. Okay. So to start off with, I'm going to take this, um, this one's Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Treatment, and this is the um, under eye circle treatment, and I believe this is medium. And I just run that under my lash, or under, on my under eye circles, and maybe a little beyond because you don't want raccoon eye type stuff going on so there we go now I'm gonna take Revlon color stay makeup and this one is the one for combination oily skin because that's what I am and it is the in the color warm golden 310 warm golden And I don't, the one thing I hate is no pump. If anybody knows a pump that fits this, I would 
totally love it because yeah this is I like when they have pumps especially because I literally what I do isn't sanitary so I don't recommend it but I'll tell you what I do anyways I take my eyeshadow brush I take the bottom of it and stick it in and then take it and roll it on the back of my hand to get it off but the reason that's not sanitary is you're putting like germs and bacteria in there so that kind of isn't good but so I put enough on the back of my hand and then I take um, this is a Sigma flat top synthetic kubuki brush and then I can just put it all over my skin I like this mascara I feel like sometimes it can look a little heavier than I like like I have a lot of like very full coverage foundations that on the skin don't appear full coverage and this one is more like medium coverage that appears full coverage it's not my favorite but it's not too bad and I do like the age rewind um, foundation oh there it is. this stuff it's like very natural looking and it does tend to leave shine on my skin so I just make sure I powder it this I feel like I don't always have to powder it it makes it last longer if I do but this is so raved about so often that I just had to try it finally I've heard more than a few gurus talk about it so And I just like to put a thin coat, which I haven't even used up most of it. I dipped the thing a little further than usual, but that means I have plenty to take down to my neck. And that just helps blend it and give it a seamless look so that you don't get that foundation ring or anything of that sort. Because those aren't good things to have. And then I just kind of get it off <laughs> my hand now I'm gonna take um, I got a new concealer because I've heard much about this too it's Rimmel's perfect match I can only find the concealer around here and not the foundation but it's two-in-one concealer highlighter and I got medium light light medium whatever and it's got a little brush which I didn't realize when I looked at it but you squeeze out the product and it's still like a little brush I wouldn't recommend using the brush like as a real means of application and I'm just gonna put that on my spots pretty much um maybe a tiny bit under my eyes to help cover up the darkest part of my circles I'm just gonna dab that in I feel like I kind of got rid of my white there. Just anywhere that needs a lot more of a coverage. Okay. Now to powder it, I'm going to set with Rimmel Stay Matte. This is in Sandstorm. But it's just a matte powder. So then I also had to try because of some of the gurus saying it was very good. I'm just putting it on with a big fluffy brush from Sig Sigma. There we go. And I'm just using it lightly to coat and set my work. Now I can take, I'm going to take Physician's Formula Healthy Wear Bronzer. This is in light. So actually this is not much of a contour powder for me anymore because I've tanned my skin. But I'm still going to use it to put in my contour area. It's not lighter so it's not going to hurt. And it should give me a little bit of a darker. It's just not going to be a dramatic transformation.
and then a little bit under to define. I should actually use this instead of my normal contour powder for my nose because otherwise it takes a lot more blending when your contour powder is a significant difference um, because it's such a small area and I take my finger to put color and then I just blend it out so now it looks much more natural um, I picked up I didn't have any blushes that were drugstore which is crazy I finally picked up this one's the rose let me double check what it is. Pink Plum. Because I picked the most natural color. I wasn't exactly sure what colors I was going to go for for this tutorial. And I picked this up specifically to try it and use it in the tutorial. So I'm using just a blush brush. I'm not sure if a blush brush works in this one. But. And then I'm going to put that on the apples of my cheeks. I actually wanted to pick up Hot Tamale because I've just been really into those coral pink reds, um, but they didn't have it. They had one and it had been open and touched. Like, Watch out for that just on these. People tend to open them so they can push on them. They are really neat how they do bounce. I mean, they don't bounce back, so I don't think it's really an adequate description, but and that these I like that because it really added a glow on its own it doesn't look fake or anything like that I'm not sure how accurate the colors are I do have just my window open but sometimes it still doesn't matter that color doesn't want to be accurate I'm gonna curl my lashes and add a second coat of mascara Oh, I'm going to be late to class. <laughs> That's really not good, but I've already started, so I better finish. I kind of judged on time a little differently than I should have. So there we be. And now I'm going to take that highlight, which is going to be mostly highlight and then a little bit of that white just to bring it back to a more neutral shade. I basically dab it in highlight once, uh, twice, and then white and then highlight. And this works wonderful for a highlight. Like, um, using your paler eyeshadows works perfectly fine for highlighting. And you don't need to go buy a specific highlighter. If you prefer um, cream, you can look for a cream. I don't prefer cream highlighters. But, um, and I'll do lips real quick. Because one more coat of mascara is only needed. I did put another coat of mascara on, right? Sometimes I'll curl my lashes and think I put on another one and I don't. Hopefully I did. Okay, so what I just put on my lips is Revlon's Just Bitten Kissable Balm Stain. This one's in Charity. Cherish. Cherish. And it's one of my favorite colors. I actually have two of these because I thought I lost it and I had to go get another one. It's just such a pretty pink and it goes really well with my outfit so I like it quite a bit um, oh, there it is okay I'm gonna take curl my lashes again I may just do two coats to help things along and that is a decent amount it's just I like my lashes to be extra long I don't have very 
voluptuous lashes on my own. So I'm going to take that and I'm taking, this is the L'Oreal gel liner and this is just in blackest black. I wanted the Maybelline one. I didn't even know L'Oreal had one, but they were sold out of the black and espresso and any color I would really use. And I'm using this on my top waterline. Gel liners I tend to use on my top waterline because pencils, sometimes they um, rub on my contacts and they leave a strange film. It it happened so often and I finally pinpointed why it was happening and it was always when I used a pencil on my waterline. So I'm not sure if it's a chemical in there was reacting to my contacts or it would smudge. It wasn't like a color that would smudge on my contacts either. It was like a clear crud. <laughs> There we go. And now I'm going to take Physician's Formula Gel Liner, or Eyeliner, in Eye Booster 2 in 1 Eye Blush Eyeliner and Serum in Ultra Black. This is the skinny one. They came out with a fat one. But the reason I like this is it's so thin that I don't have to worry about it like looking obnoxious or too much. Particularly if I'm not wearing false lashes to like dramatize my own. I don't want my eyeliner doing it for me. There we go. I just added a tiny little wing. You can see. Really thin. Okay, now I'm going to take, um, this is Revlon's Grow Luscious in Emerald Eyeliner. So I'm going to use this on my lower waterline. And this is going to just add a pop of a little bit of color. It's pretty dark. I mean, it's an emerald color. It's not a bright pop of color. It's more subtle, but it's definitely noticeable. Subtle but not invisible. So I'll look, let you see that real quick. You can see that's emerald. <laughs> and then I'm going to take uh, Maybelline's Great Lash Lots of Lashes Mascara and I'm going to coat my bottom lashes. I like defining my bottom lashes just enough. I would never, I never can use this mascara on my top lashes. It just doesn't do enough to define them. But for my bottom lashes, it's perfect. And if it clumps anywhere, all I do is kind of brush it with my finger, clean up any spots that I didn't do quite right. And that should be everything eyes. <laughs> I have to think when I get done. So this is the look. Pink with like a dark green on the lower lashes. And I'll show you my pants real quick so you know what I'm talking about. Pink flowers and greens. and So all right. I hope you guys enjoyed and I will talk to you all later now that I have to run to class starting in four minutes and I have to get to campus. So bye.